A new variant of COVID-19 has medical leaders worried. It spreads faster than B117. That we're seeing some signals that it may cause more hospitalizations. According to Dr. Cameron Webb with the White House COVID-19 response team, last week the Delta variant accounted for 6% of U.S. COVID-19 cases. This week so far, he says it's up to 9% and still climbing. Think about it. So many people don't have immunity and we're walking around like everybody does. Seminole County Medical Director Dr. Todd Husty says the county doesn't test for every variant because there are so many and because of the cost. Considering the way things are going now. I kind of am going to change my ways. I'm going to start wearing my mask again in stores. He encourages others to do the same. I think there's a certain amount of calculated risk with saying, I'm not going to do it everywhere, but in crowded places, I'm going to wear my mask and I'm going to go back to that. I've been enjoying not doing it, but now I feel a little funny about it. With the Delta variant, Webb says being fully vaccinated seems to have added importance. For folks who've only had one shot of the COVID-19 vaccines, the Pfizer, or Moderna, the mRNA vaccines in particular, uh, the, they still seem to be able to catch uh, this Delta variant. And I think that the protection is much lower. If you're not sure where to get vaccinated, Camping World Stadium is an option through Friday. The site is offering both the Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson vaccines from 10 in the morning until 6 in the evening. Reporting in Orlando, Hadass Brown, WESH 2 News. Webb says one dose of the vaccine provides about 30% protection, while two doses provide more than 80%. That's the type of information Vice President Kamala Harris hopes to bring to people. She's now taking part in a bus tour to promote the vaccine for the Biden administration.